For this video, we're going to start looking at work by Vincent Broomhall for the Homer Lachlan China Company. There are four principal shapes we're going to look at today. First is orbit, and then this Dresden shape, which is a variant of Virginia Rose, the Vogue shape, and Victoria. So Vincent Broomhall was born in 1906. He had a rather lengthy career in the ceramic industry, roughly 35 years. Uh, he died in 1991 and is buried at Riverview Cemetery in East Liverpool, Ohio. So before we start looking at these Homer Lachlan shapes, we'll look at a couple documents uh, that show some of his work prior to coming to Homer Lachlan. This comes from Google Patents and is dated 1935 and it shows the tricorn uh, sugar bowl made for Salem, China. And it lists as the inventor Vincent Broomhall and Herbert A. Smith. And here's another one showing the tricorn teacup, again from 1935, and we see Vincent Broomhall's name credited as an inventor. He goes on to work at the Edwin M. Knowles China Company uh, in the late 1930s and in the early 1940s. One of the shapes was Deanna, which we see here in this brochure in pastel glazes. Let's open it up. There's the full assortment. And then there's another version which shows it in uh, Fiesta-like glazes, capitalizing on the success of Fiesta by Homer Lachlan and Lou Ray Pastels by TS&T. Uh, this is just one of the shapes he made for Knowles. He also did Yorktown, he did uh, Regent and Williamsburg and Utility Wear, as we see here on this trade advertisement. The uh, casserole from Deanna. I have one to show you. It looks more like a flying saucer. But this is part of Broomhall's work. And this is marked, uh, let's see, Semi-Vitreous Edwin M. Knowles China Company made in USA. That's a 1941 date code. After he leaves uh, the Edwin M. Knowles China Company, he starts his own pottery called Continental Kilns in uh, Chester, West Virginia. And he, that lasts until the late 1950s and then he's makes a shape for Harker. It's called Heritage. And then in 1962, after Douglas Bourne leaves Homer Lachlan, he comes to HLC and starts designing wares. His first shape was the orbit shape in late 1962. And this is the orbit shape, a cylindrical shape with these little like flat finials. Very retro space age, atomic age looking dinnerware. I've seen people call this Jetsons dinnerware because it looks so space age. So Orbit seems to be an appropriate name for it. This We're starting to see Engobe decoration, which is E-N-G-O, no, Engobe, E-N-G-O-B-E. -E. And what that basically means is like slip decoration or color decoration on the exteriors. And we see that with this creamer. You can see it with a teapot. I'll show the bottom real quick. And this is a departure from solid color dinnerware. Now this piece in the back, this is an example of solid color where the whole thing is just dipped in a solid color glaze. But the coffee pot in front of it is engobe. So you're going to hear me use that word quite a bit because the shapes that are going to be made in the 60s and 70s. A lot of them have this engobe decoration. And the flatware for Orbit is borrowed from other shapes. So here we see Trent, which is B1474, which uses a rim shape. And then we see Orient, which uses a coupe shape. But the engobe decorated uh, hollowware could be used for either one. We also have Spring Ballet made for Woolworths, which uses a rim shape. And then we have the Engobe decorated hollowware for Orbit. And this, I enlarged this, this comes from a, I believe it's a Montgomery Ward catalog. And we see Skyline and Tulip Time, and I think that's Sienna. And here we have Maple Wood using Orbit hollowware. And there were three primary colors. We've got Tropic Blue, the green avocado green, and then we've got Butterscotch. No, that's not Butterscotch. This is Butterscotch. Let's move this forward. 
because we also have the Morocco glaze. I don't know if you can tell the difference in those. Morocco is a little bit lighter than the butterscotch. Now Morocco, there's two versions of Morocco. There's a CV144, which was made for business incentives. And then there's CV142, which was made for JCPenney. So CV144 Morocco has this stamp pattern along the rim, and it uses this uh, Morocco colored glaze, but it's in gobe. Now the JCPenney version, which we have a black and white copy here, uses the solid color. As you see in the back, that one we looked at just a moment ago. The uh, Business Incentives Morocco uses a Brittany teacup instead of an orbit-shaped teacup, and the JCPenney uses the orbit-shaped teacup. So there's a little bit of confusion between these two lines. Again, that's CV142 for JCPenney and CV144 for Business Incentives. Now, the way this worked for Business Incentives Morocco would be you could go to your grocery store, if it was carrying it, and you would have like five weeks. And in week one, you could buy like the cup and saucer for 39 cents. Then on week two, you could buy the dinner plate for 39 cents. Week three, you could buy a soup bowl for 39 cents and so forth. And during that, you could buy additional pieces such as the teapot or the casserole, the shakers and so forth. So it was a little promotion that was pretty successful all the way into the late 1960s. Uh, so successful that they requested that a teapot and casserole were added. So these two were not original to the assortment in 1962. So these are late additions. And if you do find these, they're going to be in this special Morocco glaze. You can also find other glazes used on, um, or I should say engobes used on orbits, such as black. I have a black coffee pot that's probably picked up for another line. I've seen yellow salt and pepper shakers. There's also a turquoise blue that was used. So we'll be looking at uh, the orbit shape in the future, I'm sure, with some different patterns. But I wanted to focus on this hollowware because none, no flatware was made for it. It was just hollowware. The next line that Vincent Broomhall makes for Homer Lachlan is the American shape, which I'm not showing here because that's in a previous video, video number 24. It's semi, I'm sorry, it is um, translucent fine china. So that was shown with Triumph. So that's again, video number 24 shows American shape from 1963. Also from 1963 is this Dresden line. Now this is the Virginia Rose shape with some modifications. We have the full assortment in this uh, photograph here. Try it so it's not glaring. So it's your standard Virginia Rose shape, which was still in production at the time. This was developed in 1932 by Frederick Reed. It's discontinued around 1968 or 1969. So in 1963, Vincent Broomhall takes Reed's shape and adds some pieces to it, like the coffee pot and the teapot, ashtrays, demitasse cups and saucers, uh, salt and pepper, a butter dish, before it used the jade butter dish, and it he creates this pattern, this blue onion type pattern, and this is a supermarket promotion. This one, there are several different markings you'll find. This one has Imperial Blue Dresden Dinnerware, uh, Homer Lachlan China Company. But there's a lot of these supermarket dinnerwares from the 60s and 70s. Most of them for, are for JH International. We'll see like Sheffield Amberstone, Sheffield Granada, um, Sheffield Serenade. We're going to see a lot of Sheffield lines coming up. So here are our salt and pepper shakers. These did not exist in the original Virginia Rose line, but this has the Virginia Rose embossing and styling, as does the coffee pot. So this was a, a pretty successful line. Uh, you can also find a handled hostess tray that's not pictured here. So moving on into 1964, we have the Vogue shape. And Vogue is very similar to Orbit in that it's just hollowware, and the flatware is picked up from other shapes. So we have two coffee pots here, a sugar and creamer, and some salt and pepper shakers. These come from Jubilee, but I wanted to show them because they have the same Engobe decorating process on them. And a little advertisement here showing the uh, Avocado Green with Pandora C400 and Nordic C3. 
64. And we've got some more treatments here. The top row, let's see, this is Vogue, Apache, Maplewood, this is Orbit, and then Garland, that is also Vogue, and this middle row is all Vogue. So it's Woodlore, Blue Duchess, and Autumn Gold. On the bottom, I just want to note real quick, there's Apple Blossom, R9224, using the Republic shape. So this Republic shape, which comes from before 1920, is still being made all the way into the 1960s. And here we have a little advertisement, uh, Woolworth's Vogue. We have the Vogue uh, cups being used with this coupe-shaped flatware, but we have a Duratone sugar and creamer. So you will find Duratone sugar and creamer, you will find Vogue sugar and creamer, and here's a chop plate with this gray and blue decoration. So there's a lot of patterns used on Vogue, and you will see the same end gobe decorating uh, process that you see on Orbit. Again, avocado green on the exterior only, no markings on the hollowware. And our last shape we're going to look at is Victoria. And this is from September 1964. Uh, this is a swirl shape, pretty extensive line of dinnerware. Again, this is made initially for Sheffield uh, Bone White, which is just plain undecorated ware for supermarkets. In the back, I wanted to show this piece because this was a Sheffield Bone White plate. And there you see the marking with the Florida de lis But it was purchased by Cast China out of East Liverpool and then decorated by them. And it's interesting because this Oriole decal was used on the Liberty shape and Rhythm shape. And here we see they, they just bought some scrap extras and decorated this Victoria plate from 1967. And you can find it with decals. We have a couple decal pieces here. The Fiesta Red version is, is rather unusual. This is only one of two pieces I've ever seen of Victoria in uh, Fiesta Red. And you'll see that we have some platinum. I think this is called Platinum Swirl. And that's one thing I wanted to mention in the previous video that I forgot to. Uh, when we were looking at Douglas Bourne shapes, you're going to see less and less gold and platinum as we move forward in time. Uh, less gold stamps, less gold trim. Um, part of that has to do with the whole underglaze decorating, that, that it's one fire. Um, another part, they just stopped, it just went out of style. They just stopped using it on these more modern shapes. So it's just something to, that I wanted to point out that you're going to see less of this as we move forward. Eventually it's going to disappear. Um, so I think that's going to be it. Um, yeah, Orbit, Dresden, a variation of Virginia Rose, Vogue, and Victoria. So next time we'll look at Dover and Regency.